story time. When I was 13, I wanted to go to this convention in Texas. I did it because I wanted to start modeling and maybe acting a little bit. So I was like, oh, I'll go to this. I'll meet some of the agencies. It'll be really good exposure for me. I went there for a week with my mom. When I was there, the first couple days were pretty uneventful. I think it was maybe the third day. And I mean, you were meeting people and you wanted to look nice. I was only 13, but like the third day, I thought I was looking so good. I had these black skinny pants on and I curled my hair and I put on makeup and I had a green tube top on and that might not seem important but it is important later. Later that day my mom had gone to go do something in the hotel and I was still in the room and she runs in the room and she's like oh my gosh you will never guess what just happened in the elevator. She said there was another guy in the elevator and he looked like he was probably pretty close to your age and so I talked to him and I was like okay what did you say and she's like well I was just like oh how are you and you're like you're probably around my daughter's age and he was like oh yeah I've seen her with you she's really cute she was wearing a green tube top today right this began my obsession. I was like, oh my gosh, there is a cute boy in this universe who acknowledges my existence. Like this was a major event, especially for me as a 13 year old. I was, I was pretty excited. They had this big pamphlet of all the models slash actors at the convention that everybody had. And so I ran to that pamphlet and I was like, it was this guy. I'm like, well, first of all, his name was, I feel like I should not disclose his full name even though I do remember it. His name was Joe. <sighs> as far as I was concerned, he was a hundred times cuter than any of the Jones brothers. At the time, the Jones brothers were the rage. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to talk to this guy. He's so cute. He knows who I am. He recognized me. He noticed me. So I was kind of freaking out. I was like, well, I have to go talk to him. The next day, they had a dance where all of the models and actors, where we could go and like hang out with the other people and just talk and hang out. And I met this one girl and we hung out for most of the day. And we go to like the dance thing and I see Joe there. He was looking real good and he was clearly a ladies man. There was like five girls surrounding him in like a circle like he was Justin Bieber or something. Well, if it was Justin Bieber, it would be more like 100 girls. But there was like girls in a circle around him all trying to dance with him. We're like, oh my God, there's like a waiting line for this Joe kid. We're like not on his list or something. We're like, well, this guy's really cute and we really want to talk to him. Um. So I was very, very shy and I was like, well, I'm not gonna like go up to him. There's all those other girls there. But the girl who I was hanging out with was like, well, I wanna go talk to him. So she barges through that crowd and she's like, hey, can I have your number? And he gives her his number. They are like texting a couple minutes later. He's like, yeah, I think you guys are cute. And we're like, Oh my god, <laughs> so exciting. He thinks we're cute. He thinks I'm cute. He knew I was wearing a green shirt, so... Then a whole other day passes and I don't have the guy's number, only she does, and I don't see him the whole last day. The day after the last day of the convention is the day where everybody is leaving the hotel and flying home. And I'm like, no, I never got to talk to this guy. This is so depressing. Our flight actually got like delayed and, well, and we were supposed to leave in the morning, but we ended up having the whole day free. And I was like, well, we're in a nice hotel, it's nice weather, we'll just hang out at the pool all day until we have to take the flight home. And the whole day I was keeping my eyes peeled for this guy to make sure like, well, has he gone home yet? Has he flown home yet? Is he still at the hotel? The hotel was really clearing out and especially by midday it was almost empty almost all the people from the convention had gone home 
Me and my mom just decided, okay, we're gonna go to the pool and hang out all day. So we're sitting at the pool. I'm just like lounging in this beach chair in my swimsuit. I have sunglasses on. I'm listening to just my MP3. All of a sudden, like, I look over to the doors that lead from the hotel to the pool area outside. It was not a coincidence that suddenly this song came on. Joe walks through the door. He hadn't left yet, he was still at the hotel. He was with another guy who was, I mean, like, disgusting compared to Joe, but that was only because Joe was really, really hot. He was like the most perfect specimen my 13-year-old little eyes had ever seen before. I couldn't handle it. He was fire burning. They're walking across the pool area, and thank God I had sunglasses on because I'm like looking at him at this point, like, so he walks all the way around the side of the pool and takes a seat right next to my mom and I on the other side of us. And his, him and his friend sit down. They're like, oh, we're gonna get in the water. They set up some of the tables. They stack a couple on top of each other and Joe goes first. He runs, jumps on top of the tables and like springs off into the pool. And the second he hits the water, all the water just evaporated into steam because he was so hot. <sighs> so then there's like no water in the pool because he's just too hot and the water couldn't even handle it. And I'm just staring them down. I'm like, okay, it's so now or never. I'm getting in the water. I decide to get in the water and I just walk over to him and he says, hi. I probably like peed. I, I don't remember. I just was so happy that I finally got to talk to this guy who clearly was hotter than the sun and just like no one could ever come close. But mind you, I was like 13 and the fact that this guy like had a teeny bit of ab definition was enough for me to sign my name on the line of marrying him. We talk for a little while, we play with him and his friend's little sister who was also there and do some cool things that involved him lifting me up in the air which was like, oh my god, physical contact. And finally he was like, okay, well, we're gonna go catch our flight, but here's my MySpace because MySpace was the thing back then. So the second the plane landed, I probably was like, mom, we need to be home. like." Yesterday, I need to add this guy in my space. And I went back to school and was like, guys, guess what? I talked to the hottest guy who has ever walked the planet. And they were like, whoa, no way. I'm like, yeah. In a swimsuit. He was shirtless. On my space, I added him and I stalked him for a few months. And that was it. I never talked to him again. I never saw him again. And... I hope he never sees this. <laughs> Bye!